All right. Welcome back. Let's take a look. We have max progress. Any other ancillary stuff we do from this point on isn't going to count towards uh, isn't going to count towards the crucible, but that's fine. Still going to do them because side quests are side quests are side quests are side quests, and fuck you, I'm going to do them anyways. Nothing to say, really. Commander, Caden was looking for you. I believe he's in the crew quarters. The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You're turning into a regular Marine. Yeah. Well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Hey, nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Commander? Trainer. Well, I could have swore that Samaras joined you in this game, though. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So, a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rathni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Solarian sees thousands of Rathni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous. The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. I always love a good anti-joke. What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equals three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying mass of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Hello, Shepard. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. Oh, glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. Commander. Joker. So if you couldn't guess, more ship talks because... Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. You don't say. After this, I will finally... Be heading back to the citadel for some shopping <laughs> oh yeah Caden wants to talk in my room I was gonna talk to him in my room bitch all right agent Delinko. Uh are you already in here Huh. Okay. Oh, you want to talk in the crew quarters. 
What's up, the great Kalinko? Hey, what's going on? You got a minute? Two. Sure, Caden. Three. What's up? Ten at most. You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team seem like... like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if there are more like them trapped inside Cerberus struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many? The choice to leave someone behind? Until you're in that moment, I... So, yeah, you know, I don't know. Yeah, that is one thing that I absolutely despise about people pulling the hindsight stuff. Well, I would have done this. Okay, you don't know what you would have done if you were in that exact same situation, completely unprepared with no information like this point the person was. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from him. From him. Sorry. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. It's horribly complicated. Also, I did see this coming when he basically told me that I should save the collector's base because he can use that to evolve humanity. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity, and he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that, that's a very different thing. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. I did. <clears throat> okay. Even when I first Thanks. played this game, I did. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. <laughs> I don't know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. See you around. You bet. Anything else? Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. I know a place that uh, still has steak. I should get back to this report. I'll catch you later, Shepard. Yeah, no problem. Anyone in Ob? Nope. James and Garrison Metz Hall, though. Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought up a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Sarah. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was the Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. Ladies. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. How's it going? How's it going? Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander.
Take care, Commander. Still nothing from you, Chocolate. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that, too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega? Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. <laughs> uh, always love this banter. There is new information on the private messages terminal. Cool. Good to see you again, Shepard. Good to see you again, Shepard. Well, if it was. Lot, scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And made peace between the Geth and Corians. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. But mostly me. <laughs> Uh, fucking love this banter. <laughs> uh, anyone else here? Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. Nope. Okay. Engineering. <laughs> Javik. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I trust you, Commander, when you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals. Otherwise, perhaps later, Commander. All right. Okay, toughest mission. Horizon. No fear, I haven't joined up with you yet. Fine, the Dead Reaper then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper rifle? You're the one who likes things at your range. And you prefer to keep everything at a distance. From husks? Absolutely. Creepiest thing we fought? The Thorian. Your turn. I'm going with the Rachni. The Queen? But we didn't fight her uh, either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. Not when it's spiders. Arachnophobia. Shepard. Nothing to report. Commander. Hey. Hey. Really? You have nothing to say to me? Okay. Ugh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. Does Dr. Tassoni ever let you in her room? Because she keeps me out. Plenty. Do we need to talk, Commander? No, nah, we no, good. Let me know when we do. Well, Vega's in the crew docks, so... Just got Cortez. 
munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. And nothing new for Cortez. All right, well, we will see y'all next time when I go back to the Citadel for the re-re-re-re-return. Ah, ye. See you soon.